Hi everyone, this is Orly. In this video, I will be sharing with you the reasons why I choose to work for Native Camp. So I have been working for Native Camp for more than a year now, and I started working for them April of last year. I am working for them as a part-timer now because I have some private students, so I just open my slots on my schedule whenever I am free. So let's go to the first reason why I choose to work for them. The first reason is because of their system requirements. Other companies will require you to have at least 10 Mbps, and they also require high computer specifications. But for Native Camp, the minimum required speed is just 2 Mbps and they don't require you to submit any screenshots of your computer specs or your speed test result because as long as you pass a system check kung saan ito check nila yung audio mo kung nasa noisy environment ka at ito check din nila yung background mo kung meron kang plain uh, background then you will pass a system check also, they do not use any telecommunications applications or softwares like Skype or Zoom or Voob and or Zoom because for them, ang kanilang platform ay already available sa kanilang um, homepage. So as long as meron kang Google Chrome uh, or Mozilla Firefox or Microsoft Edge, then you can work for them. Lahat na na mga kakailangan mo ay nandun sa kanilang homepage. Um, you will see that once you get your teacher's account, makikita mo andun na lahat ng books, andun na din lahat ng teaching materials, andun mo na din matitcheck kung ilan yung nasahod mo this cut off at nasahod mo for the day. Other companies will require you to have at least 10 Mbps and they will even require you to submit a screenshot of your computer specs or your speed test results. The second thing is because of their account. Kapag nagkaroon ka na ng teacher's account, the good thing about that is that I'm not sure if it's gonna be permanent, but I'm pretty sure it will last for a long time. That's why they even offer like a promo para sa mga comeback teachers. Let's say you have been inactive for a month or months or a year, you can come back anytime you want. Because I started working for Native Camp, when the pandemic started, I worked for them full time for two months. But when I had to go back to my office job, I had to be inactive for some time. Meron din yung time na hindi ako nakapag work sa kanila for more than three months or four months because of family reasons. And that's okay because I was able to come back after some time. And that's a good thing about their account. You can easily access it anytime you want and anywhere you want. You can teach kung kailan mo gusto magturo at kung gusto mo rin magbakasyon, then you can go on vacation for a while. My third point is because of their flexible schedule. Masasabi kong flexible ang schedule nila kasi tulad ng sabi ko kanina, you can teach anytime you want, whenever you want, and for how long you want. On Native Camp, they don't require you to work for like minimum hours. Other companies, um, especially Korean companies, they will ask you to work for them from 5 a.m. to 2 p.m. and or from 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. Chinese companies will ask you to work for them for uh, let's say 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. during the peak hours and that is okay kung they give you a fixed salary or at least a guaranteed pay because we all know that if you are new at a company during your first months or let's say uh, first few weeks you wouldn't have a lot of students kasi hindi ka pa nila kilala so it wouldn't be fair on your side kung naghihintay ka ng estudyante na mag-enter ng iyong class pero hindi ka bayad sa mga moments o sa mga hours or minutes na yun. Madali din ang magplot ng schedule sa kanila because if you're only available for let's say 30 minutes a day, then you can teach for just 30 minutes a day. If you can teach for like 12 hours a day, pwede ka ding magturo ng ganong kahabang oras. Bukod doon, madali din ang magplot ng schedule dahil meron na silang phone application. So you can just easily turn on or close your schedule, close your slots kung hindi ka available. Meron din silang sudden classes. 
And that's the good thing about Native Camp. In other schools, in other online or ESL schools, meron silang booked classes. For Native Camp, they have two kinds of classes. They have the book class and the sudden class. I love teaching sudden classes because maiiwasan mo ang penalty. Usually, for other companies, kapag na mismo ang isang book class, lalo na kapag nagsisimula pa lang yung company because they want to build a trust sa kanilang clients. They're still building an image. That's why they are trying to avoid na mag-absent or mag-cancel ng class ang kanilang mga teachers. So because of that, when you miss a booked class, ang um, penalty ay sobrang laki. It can go even higher than what you earn in every class. But for Native Camp, the price of the penalty is just the same as the price of the class. Kapag kinansan mo naman ito, let's say 48 hours before the class time, then there will be no penalty. Also, most students in Native Camp, unless they are enrolled sa isang course na kailangan talagang booked, but majority of the lessons um, can be conducted through sudden classes. At bukod doon, ang mga sudyante, they also prefer sudden classes kasi mas cheaper yun kesa sa booked classes. Based on my experience, if you have a good profile or a high rating during that cutoff, you will just have to go on standby for like a few seconds or less than a minute and a student will enter your video room. So uh, most students also prefer sudden classes. Ang kanilang teaching materials din ay sobrang dali. Once you get your account, makikita mo ang tab dun na learning kit for teachers. So if you're not able to familiarize yourself with the books, meron sila yung tab na yun, learning kit for teachers. You can click on that and then you will see a list of the books at doon ando na rin yung mga sample videos on how to teach these books. So most of these books can be self-learned. Isa pa, ang kanilang books din ay sobrang, yung mga teacher's instructions sobrang verbatim. Ibig sabihin, yung mga lines mo like, repeat after me, let's listen to the audio, let's go to the next page. All these common instructions ay nandun na din. So it won't be very difficult for you as a teacher to follow the class flow or to do the teacher's part. So the last reason is because of the students. I love teaching on Native Camp because they have a lot of students. Yes, they have a lot of teachers from all over the world. Pero um, marami din silang sudyante. And katulad ng sabi ko kanina, most students prefer conducting sudden classes. The good thing about conducting sudden classes as well is that you will be meeting students from different walks of life. So it's possible that in your first class, you will be teaching a kid. And in your second class, you might be teaching an IT professional, a retiree, or a businessman. And that's what makes it fun pagdating sa pagtuturo mo sa Native Camp because in my case, um, usually kapag puro estudyante, let's say, pag pare-parehas na level ang tinuturuan mo, may mga days din na say, mawawalan ka ng gana or you can be impatient sometimes. But on Native Camp, yun nga, you'll be meeting people of different ages so, because of that, hindi ka mabobored sa iyong pagtuturo. Um, in fact, you will even learn different teaching styles at magiging flexible ka as a teacher. Pwede kang maging bookish at pwede kang maging lenient sometimes. And although Native Camp is a Japanese company, they cater students from different countries as well like Korea, Taiwan, Thailand, and many other countries. So, matututo ka sa kanila because I honestly think that it's not just the students who learn from us, but we also learn from them. So when you meet people from different countries, you learn their culture, their traditions, and their customs. And that can even help you become a more effective and efficient ESL teacher. And my last reason is actually a bit personal. I have always wanted to go to Japan, work in there, and do the ministry at the same time. Kung merong panahon na kailangan ng Japan, to hear the word of God, to hear about the Lord, because uh, most of them are atheists. Alam naman natin yun. And 
I don't, I'm not saying that I preach in my every class, but I learn how to be at least a light, to bring encouragement, to bring hope, to help them cope with stress, or like I give them some tips. Minsan, during the free conversation, lalo na kapag um, they ask me how I, you know, overcome stress or how I get rid of stress, and I give them some tips. I make sure that I don't sound preachy sa kanila because of course, hindi nila agad-agad tatanggapin yun. But in a way, we can bring encouragement, we can and bring hope to Japanese people during these times. During this pandemic, there was a big increase in the number of suicide rate among the Japanese people. In a way, we can help them see the brighter side of things by simply, you know, leaving a positive comment on their message box or just telling them to, you know, keep on fighting. I usually tell my students, Akira meron na, anata na na dekiru. Just to encourage them, so kahit sa simple pagtuturo natin, we can help other people, we can bring encouragement to other people. And I think that brings self-fulfillment. This is our purpose, why we became ESL teachers. We do not just teach them, we encourage them as well, and we bring the light to them. So these are the reasons why I choose to work for Native Camp. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to comment down below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.